Hey everyone, in my last video I explained to you what the fascia is and how important knowing about it is for our understanding of how the body works. Today I'm going to show you how you can relieve tension and tightness in myofascia, which is the name given to fascia that goes in and around our muscles. I'm going to focus on two areas and I'll explain why I chose those areas as I go along. Myofascial release is a really useful and powerful tool for you to have that you can use at home. As a remedial massage therapist, my aim is to get people to be pain-free as quickly as possible. So any way that we can help achieve that and speed that process up is great. So I often give people myofascial release tips to use after our treatments. The first area I wanna focus on is a muscle called the rectus femoris. It's one of your quadriceps muscles and it's the only one of the quadriceps that crosses two joints. It crosses the knee joint and the hip joint. So it's got two main actions. One of them is to extend the knee and the other is to flex the hip. And there are two reasons why I've chosen to fo focus on this area. The first one is because if it's really tight, then you will have a limited range of hip extension. So if you're a runner or a walker and you don't have a good range of hip extension, then you won't be running as optimally as possible. And you might even be experiencing pain associated with that. The second reason I've chosen this area is because tightness here is very commonly associated with low back pain. So if you're someone who's experiencing low back pain or you have bouts of low back pain, then this might be really useful for you. So what you're going to do is find this bony landmark in the front of your hip here, should be very easy to find. And this is called the anterior superior iliac spine. Just below that is the anterior inferior iliac spine, which is where the rectus femoris attaches. Uh, so we're going to be wanting to focus just below that. So you're going to find this bony landmark and you're going to go about two, two and a half inches below and place the ball on that area. And then you're going to lie on the ball. I'm going to angle the camera down slightly so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we found the bony landmark, we go a couple of inches below that, we place the ball there, and then lie down on it. And it helps if you flag the opposite leg like this, so that it gives you a bit of balance, and you just let your weight sink in, let gravity do its thing, and let the ball sink into the tissues. You can lie down completely if you want, and you're just going to lie on this for about two or three minutes. It's important that you're really face it, your hips are really facing the floor, and that you're not going to the side or anything like that. Otherwise, <clears throat> you'll be focusing on different muscles. So I would do that for two or three minutes on one side, and then two or three minutes on the other to really feel an effect. If it's really sensitive or potentially bordering on being excruciating, then you can use a tennis ball because it's softer, or you can go to a room where you've got a nice soft carpet because that'll provide a bit more cushioning. If it feels particularly tight and you've got chronic adhesions in there, adhesions that have been in there for a long time, then I would do this every day for a few days, possibly even up to a week, two or three minutes on each side, for a week. The second area that I want to focus on is the trapezius and in particular this portion of the trapezius muscle. The reason why I've chosen this area is because it very commonly gets trigger points and tender points. Tender points are just taut bands of tissue that are tender when pressed. Trigger points are the same thing but you feel a referral pain somewhere else. So if you've been for a massage and your therapist is pressing in an area and you've felt that somewhere else, then you know what I'm talking about. Trigger points in the trapezius here often are referred up the neck, in the back of the head, 
the top of the head and sometimes even in the forehead. And if you have trigger and tender points in your traps, then that might be causing neck ache and headache. So if you're someone who has neck pain or gets headaches, then this might be very, be very beneficial for you. Similar concept, you're going to find an area on here that feels particularly tight and you're just going to lie on the ball. Like this, and again, just let gravity do its thing. If it doesn't feel tight in that area, then you can move around. It's amazing what a few millimeters can do. So just move along a little bit, and I found the spot there, and I would lie here like this for two or three minutes uh, until, and, and, and you will eventually feel that pain uh, being relieved. There's another way of doing this, which is, I find really great because you can actually control the amount of pressure that you're putting on your, on your muscle a lot more. And that's doing it standing up. And it's also very useful because you can't actually lie down on this very um, upper portion of your shoulder here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to angle the camera back up. Okay, so ideally if you could find a corner of a wall like this, and then you're going to place the ball on your upper trap here, and you're going to lean into it like this. And straight away I've found an area that could really do with a bit of a release. So I would just, again, just sink into it two or three minutes. If it feels really painful, quite often this area is very sensitive then what you can do is just bring your feet closer to the wall and you will then be applying less pressure because less of your weight is, um, is being applied onto the ball there. So this will be really useful for you if you get neck pain and headaches. If you're someone who's taking part in this, I would be really interested to hear how you get on with it after a few days of doing it. So do get in touch or comment on this if you're taking part and let me know how you get on. I'll do some more videos uh, doing some myofascial release on different areas of the body soon. Take care.